Junior Palo on screen there. Parramatta chasing a third straight win over Melbourne, yeah. which is not to be sneezed at. Uh, they have decided to do it. This time last week, most enjoyable the game against the Sharks, but they would be disappointed they didn't get the job done. The Parramatta Reels would be a nice scalp to pick up that. And Melbourne in Melbourne. Yeah, the, the Parramatta side just haven't been physically where uh, they would like to be, to be blunt, Andrew, over the opening fortnight of the competition. Junior, uh, talking to him throughout the week, really disappointed uh, with how they turned up to Cronulla physically last week, and I expect that to change here this afternoon. There's nowhere to hide at Amy Park. But they love to be physical. Mitch Moses, what a battle. Mitchy, he's had three try assists already this year. Uh, he's carrying a leg injury. We can see it heavily taped there, but the challenge tonight of coming up against one of the other premier halfbacks in the competition, Jerome Hughes. The battle will get him up. Clint Gutherson had the goal kicking last week and landed four from four uh, against the Sharks. Mitchell Moses was six from eight in uh, round one against the Titans, landed three from the sideline. So Gutherson could be a man under pressure in that department. Melbourne are going to keep the Eels waiting. A little bit of cat and mouse here. Uh, why not? Uh, get whatever advantage you can. That was an interesting shot, wasn't it? We saw Tepoi Moirawa jogging. Even the assistant coach was, uh, was was jogging on the spot. Everyone's a bit toey. It's a big game. It, look, it's a big game. I know it's round three. It's early doors as far as the season is concerned. But these are two of the sides you're expecting to be there at the business end. So you want to get your season on the front foot. You win a game like this and you win it in style. Well, the fact, Fossey, that, that Craig Bellamy would have been, we know the standard that he sets. He would have been livid with the last 15, 20 minutes of their performance against South Sydney last week. Brad Arthur would have been extremely disappointed with his side's physicality and the identity that he wants from his footy side that wasn't at Shark Park last week. So, so the emotions here and the challenge that's been set from the two rival coaches will, will be displayed. It'll be laid out here in the opening 10 minutes. It's going to be brutal. It's an extraordinary situation. We saw Jesse Bromwich there at the head of the queue. 274th game. If you want a stat, six of the starting forwards we're going to see tonight for the respective sides are going to sign for other clubs next year. <laughs> Four of the that's Melbourne nice. starting pack. And two of Parramatta's are signed elsewhere for next season. What a strange, what a strange sport we follow, rugby league, that we allow that. Yeah, absolutely. This man here tonight, Brandon Smith, the Dalian Booker of the year last year. What a huge inclusion. Unfortunate for him when we got to Combank Stadium in round one against the Tigers to see Brandon leave in the opening minutes of the game. It looked like it was going to be anywhere up to a month to six weeks with a handbrake. Harry Grant, enormous last week. What a performance from Harry Grant. He was brilliant out of dummy half and then all of a sudden carnage broke loose in victoria harry grant ruled out with COVID. so too his roommate tyrant wishard who's been able to fill in brandon smith ruled out with a hand injury and then look at this look at you can see the emotion he is the ultimate competitor and, and he did break in new asking twice look at him oh yeah. yeah oh yeah three minutes he has played in the nrl this year just three <laughs> minutes i love it look at him <laughs> okay unleash the chain and let him run what a shot Brandon Smith, game two, Super Saturday, Storm and Eels. Eels have scored the first try. The last four times these sides have clashed. And Campbell Gillard with the first carry of the match. It's a great point Michael makes about daytime football. Seeing this in Melbourne, Parramatta, can they take full advantage in the style of play they bring to this contest? Paolo will have his first hit up of the day. Those four offloads we highlighted in his stats, they were all last week. He was kept uh, contained by the Titans in round one, but he is one of the best in the competition. Brown in the starting side for the first time this year. Now Marnie Campbell-Gillard will take a second run in the set. And Kafusi is up there with Bromwich. Parramatta negotiate the opening six of the match and a Moses kick on the end of it. And it's an interesting back three for Melbourne. Pappenhausen is the experienced member with Meany on left wing and Eremia on the right. Yeah, really nice controlled set there from the Parramatta side. Nice and direct, no surprise. It was Parlow and also Nathan Brown finding Brandon Smith through the middle as we see Cameron Munster out of dummy half, picks up 15 metres. Olam now on the back of it. This is on the highway stuff, this from Melbourne. How direct is that? Three hit ups, uh, three hit ups in a row. There's a towel that's been left behind out there. Pappenhausen looking to slice through. 90 seconds into the contest and nice and lively from Melbourne. The pussy with that one. Marnie low down with Barlow and Brown over the top. 
They're in position for an attacking kick. Munster is the man who will provide it. And there's pressure right in the corner for Simonson. Off the fingertips. by Parramatta. They ruled Not gone forward. Mitchell Mason's questioning that. He's saying it's gone back. He went back before Do he they want to play their challenge inside two minutes? Moses is arguing the case with Gutherson. It was a nice kick from Cameron Munster. Landed right on top of Bailey Simonson, and it was a great contest. Look at Mooney there, flying high, eyes on the ball. Hard to see on that angle, just the trajectory of which the ball comes down. It looked like it went forward to start with. Penasini taking no chances, and Melbourne now, great opportunity to attack Munster, injecting himself early. Yeah, oh dear. I, I think they might have had a case. But maybe it's the time on the clock. Why they didn't go ahead with it. But uh, now Melbourne ball. Hughes inside for Smith. Little scrum play. And Gutherson hangs on for dear life to save the try. Pappenhausen. Bromwich. And on with Nelson Asa for Salomona. Rocking his way towards the goal line there. Smith with the custom number 23 on his back. Kafusi not able to offload. Three tackles down. Now Smith. Big Nelson will have another run at them. Looking to get the arms free. Marnie, Campbell Gillard, Brown. Good work. Smith again. Will have a crack himself. Oh, that is brilliant defense by Parramatta. Last play. Hughes kick. Looking for his man. Smith got up there. And Smith. As he come up short, he may have reached out, which could be double move, but okay, there's Duffy, a fair bit happening here. We're on the sixth tackle. I have no try. Confirm that it is a double movement, that the ball carrying arm has touched the ground and it's been promoted while the player's been held. I don't think there'll be any doubt about that. It's whether the Parramatta player had contact. It was a nice kick from Hughes, and, and no surprise here that Craig Bellamy has got a plan. He's put Eremia into the centres on Melbourne the last right side kick chase is and put Remus side. Smith out there to match up on Wonga Blake. Two huge athletes, and he gets up high. Smith, he comes down short of the line, but will need that reverse angle to Ooh. see if he's able to spin out of the tackle for Blake. What a leap! Outstanding. Have a look at how high this is. You sure we're not at the MCG? Yeah. Wow. That's Dean fantastic, Orange, isn't it? Possession of the he ball. comes down. Does he? Is he able to reach out here? Well, it's all where the Blake has got a hand on him here. He's entitled to. Well, gee, I think he's in the act of. Uh, I think it's okay. The ball. I think it's okay. Just look looking here, to see I... if there's a defender in contact with the player when the ball's promoted. So, when does he start to move the ball forward? Has Blake got a hand on him? Oh, oh, geez, that's almost simultaneous, isn't it? Yeah. That, that's really hard for the bunker to rule on. I don't know if I've seen the likes of this. This is a really well. They've tough gone up ball. no try as well. Does, does that play a factor? At this point, the Parramatta player's hand is on the Melbourne player, oh. and the ball is on the ground. I think that's a tough. We call. have a decision. I, I actually think he was starting to move. Yes, yes, that will Remus Smith it's before yes, Longer Blake gets his hands to him. Parramatta survive. Take your hat off to Clint Gutherson. Two huge tackles. One on Brandon Smith out of the scrum, and another one as Brandon Smith lunged for the line. Junior Palo in there as well. Parramatta hold on. 501 game man. Craig Just Bellamy wait till not playing up. Like, he's probably not wait seen that before. Wait. I mean, that was such a close wait. call. If they say try, I'm not blowing up. If they say no try, I'm not blowing up. I agree. Up. Let's go on with it. Great start to the match. Melbourne, Parramatta. For uh, Cooper and Benji to examine with Braith at half time. Polo on that run. Justin, Justin. Wrestling for every centimetre in the Bromwich tackle. Campbell Gillard. Yeah, he has started the game well, as have the Melbourne Storm front rowers. Pet Nelson gets a bit of the white line fever, doesn't he? Oh, loose carry or the forced offload has turned it over. Melbourne have it with Munster. And uh, Cameron now finds Jerome Hughes. Now there's trouble. Pappenhausen was lurking. And here he is, Pappenhausen, with Munster. Switch of play was on offer. Popping around like he's played touch football, Cameron Munster. And another set restart here for Melbourne. Jesse Bromwich there. 
Five minutes into the contest, we've got whistle blown. Oh, that's an interesting one. Yeah. Let's pull it back. Smith to Hughes to Munster. Was it precision? He <laughs> just, just accepts the tackle. Hughes and Munster combining a lot in these opening few minutes of the game. Looking terrific, Melbourne. Smith and Hughes. This time off for the former knight, Josh King. Passing front on defence. Papalihi there. Smith. Munster out the back. Oh, Kevin Brobich. Wonderful touch for Nick Meany. Give Kenny probably to scalp league and operate on me. That was lovely hands. Maybe not, but try to Melbourne. Yeah, really nice start from the Melbourne Storm and on the back of an error from the Parramatta side. It's no surprise the left edge of Melbourne clicked straight into gear. They had a shot down there with Munster. They came away and then they came back at this right edge, which has had its challenges in the opening few weeks of the competition. And really nice hands there from the Melbourne Storm. Down the short side, Smith to Munster. He goes deep into the line. Simonson jamming hard. Left space on the outside for Nick Mooney, who's come into the side for Coates. And Melbourne getting gifted possession on the back of some ill discipline and some errors from the Parramatta side early. And they score, but we're going to check the line from Justin Ollum yeah, here. Bossy. Here, um, Justin Ollum's run. Potential obstruction. It goes, and you see Penasuni come reeling out of the tackle. So Munster goes deep into the line. Just watch Justin Ollum at the bottom of your screen, the number four for Melbourne. He runs it. Justin Ooh. Ollum runs it. Changes at his at line. The Parramatta player denies him the opportunity to Tries defend denied. the play on it his wasn't outside. A definite move, wasn't and Melbourne it? take Ollum that advantage. We have a decision. He just shifted his body towards the left hand side and collected Penasini. So just I'm explain I'm that I'm for I'm our I'm viewer. Right. If if Olam remained running straight, he well, had an inside shoulder. So um, if Olam stays on that line okay, on the inside um, shoulder, on the left shoulder of Penasini, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's the fact that he that's starts really. to drift out on the that's pass really. and collects Penasini, <laughs> collides with him, it's a no-brainer. Had he have run the outside shoulder and collected him, that would have been no try as well. That's the right call. Craig can't believe it. But he didn't go for a walk. That's my barometer <laughs> of unhappiness. <laughs> And here it is there. They're coming. Yeah, the there fight. it is. You can just see how he changed his line and, Six and, and caught the, early the shoulder of this man, Penasini. That was enough no! for the bunker over turn. Parramatta survived. It's been all Melbourne early. It's at the start again. They took off early, so Parramatta uh, with the ball. Help! Release Josh! Mark straight. Money. 35 minutes out. Parramatta, first time down this end. Probably with that ball. And some of great numbers last time they played Melbourne round 24 last year. And that was an amazing season for him. And Moses on the brown. And then Lane trying to do what Bromwich had done at the other end. Not with the same precision. Six minutes into a game and there's a fair bit to talk about already. Brown left foot step in front of Pappenhausen. Great opportunity with two tackles left in the set, and Marty will attack from short side. Lane just runs hard, just tucks it under the wing and ran at Kafusi. Now Marty for Brown to kick from 15 metres out. Underneath it is Munster. Moses hit the deck, and Parramatta end up with it. And Pappenhausen says, "Well done, Cameron." Tackle on Regan Campbell Gillard. Yeah, good desperation there from the Melbourne Storm the first time this afternoon, really having to defend their own line. And it was the Parramatta Reels a number of times down narrow short sides, asking questions of the Melbourne defence. And Melbourne holding firm as we see a relieving penalty now for Melbourne. So much has been oh, happening. We've got old mate Corey Parker. He's sitting down <laughs> on the sideline. Corey, what a high energy start to this game and a fair bit of drama. Yeah, without doubt, I'm in the box seat down here, gentlemen. What is absolute perfect conditions will suit both teams, as you guys have already mentioned. Nice, fast pitch. But watching both teams warm up, there's an intent and there's an, a focus, particularly on the physicality of this game. We heard from Brad Arthur at the start of the game. Oh, yeah. The brutality out of his man, particularly in that middle third, and he's certainly getting it. Uh, the Melbourne Storm have had a couple of rough calls early, but no club, no club in the NRL deals with adversity better than Melbourne Storm. Parramatta has won 16 of 40 against Still going, Nelson. Nelson, Nelson offload. Cameron Smith can't return the favour there. Two hookers meet there. Now Pappenhausen. And here he goes. Pappenhausen, what a run. Got by Campbell Gillard. Now Smith, 30 metres out. Munster, is that forward to Kafusi. Play on the call. 
Smith, busy as so far. Bromwich with footwork in front of Paolo there. And Brown. Melbourne find themselves 10 metres away from the Eels line. Smith to the right. Oh! Back in Sean Lane. And Tom Opacek and Lane combine on the biggest of players. Nelson Usser for Solomona. Smith taken on the boot by Munster. They say well there, Munster. Pappenhausen was on side, fielded it. Smith loses the ball. Gufferson comes back with it. And Parramatta. It was well, they've got a flop penalty there as well. I was gonna say Parramatta no real advantage. They could have come to the 10, the drop ball. Parramatta have done really well because they're getting opened up through the middle. We saw it with Munster out of dummy half in their first set of the game. That time it was Pappenhausen. Finding ways through the middle of the field of the Parramatta side's defensive line. But they've been able to wrestle it back later in the set and keep Melbourne away from, from finding points. Penasini now trying to get some ascendancy. Both sides just feeling their way into the contest here. A warning shot by Pappenhausen, the Fox Sports Lab. Great number on him. In games against Parramatta, he's played them six times. When he scored a try, and he's done that in three of the contests, Melbourne have won. When yeah. Ryan Pappenhausen hasn't scored, Melbourne haven't won, which is an unusual one from six matches. So we've got a fair sample. Now Lane, so keep that in mind if Pappenhausen nabs a four-pointer here. And he seems like he's in a menacing mood around the ball as Marty for Brown running at uh, Jerome Hughes. It's a contest at the moment that's been played with a semi-final-like intensity. Lane, it's deliberate to go that short side. Hughes has ended up with a the ball. They're working a very narrow channel down the left, and Lane, both times, he's just gone hell for leather. Yeah, he's been busy down that left-hand side. The combination between him and Reed Marnie just attacking towards Jerome Hughes there, and that time Lane with his arm free, unable to land the offload. Pass for Solomona, they've got a penalty there. There you go. Last year, that's a set restart. This time it's a, a kick for touch, and Melbourne go on the attack inside Parameters half. Yeah, another penalty now for this Melbourne side as Brandon Smith just on his haunches here. It's been a fast and frenetic start from both sides. It's been end to end. And a chance for the players to grab their breath. Melbourne now with an opportunity to go inside Parramatta's half again, but with a full set and with restarts. They love this, Melbourne. Look for them to work towards the middle part of the field and try and link towards this left-hand side. Try and open up their left-hand side attack. Now Smith, rush up on us of a Solomona Brown. Didn't get much of a piece of him. But, uh, the whole front row ended up making the tackle on Nelson. Munster and Jesse Bromwich. So you've got some serious offloaders in this game. There you see it from Bromwich. The old under the arm and Moses came reeling out there. Hughes off for King. Stormer 25 metres from the Parramatta line. Brandon Smith scoop up. Jesse Bromwich again. That's three tackles in. Smith. Munster. Prop inside for King. Caught by the pants by Marty. Play on was the call and you won't stop Smith from there. Well, Parramatta may argue they had him held. Referee said no. And Brandon Smith, he got a glimpse of the goal line and off he went. Yeah, it's been a fantastic start from that man, Brandon Smith, injected into the side with a broken hand. And it's Munster that straightens the attack, finds King back on the inside. Marnie does everything to hang on. And a nice offload back to the tenacious little dummy half, and he just puts the head down, he burrows low, and acceler accelerates through the Parramatta defensive line under Gutherson, and Melbourne on the board. Parramatta just keep gifting the Melbourne Storm field position, and don't they love it? The Victorians on the board early. Look at Brandon. What a good moment for Josh King. <laughs> yeah. Talking to Brandy about it last week, Mike, that's quite incredible what Craig Bellamy must have seen in Josh King and what he's he's using him in a role he's playing 67 minutes last week top the tackle cap now at Newcastle he's a he's bit part he's 30 minutes 40 minute player at best and here he's at Melbourne you saw Craig Bellamy's interview with Matty Johns and he spoke about you know the intensity and the depth in which they look into their recruit he's obviously seen something there he would have done plenty of background work on King and it's come to fruition because over the summer, he was one of their best trainers. 
He was compared to Dale Finucane, who they absolutely loved him, Mel. Loved him. 64 minutes he played in round one against the Tigers. 67 minutes against South. He topped the tackle count with 47. And there he is with a try assist. Playing in the middle for Melbourne. Pappenhausen converts. 6 0 start through 13 minutes. Corey Parker on the sideline. Speaking to Craig Bellamy before the game, there was a massive sigh of relief knowing that Brandon Smith was going to come into this team at the start of the week. They weren't real sure as the week got on. He was definite sure that he was going to play, and rightly so. Look at this little competitor that we see. We talk about this one-two punch of Bromwich and Nel Nel Big on, Nelson. Guys. Well, throw Brandon into this. He's had five runs for Get up on, over guys, 30 guys. metres. He's been in absolutely everything. He's come up with a try. He's exactly the heartbeat of this team. He's a fantastic player. He's been ultra busy too. Parramatta are really going to have to get their middle third defence together. They've missed 11 tackles so far, Parramatta. Melbourne's won in the contest through 13 minutes. It's a terrific Super Saturday on Fox League. We've had Knights and Penrith. They were unbeaten going into the contest in Bathurst. Great crowd there. Controversy and drama as well. And then later on tonight... Just give you the battle of the two number sixes here on Fox League. White and VAJ Brimson. Can't wait. Exclusive to Fox League tonight on Super Saturday. So Storm on their 30. And there is King Munster, Pappenhausen, Kenny Bromwich. Almost put the foot down through the Papali'i tackle there. Munster's in a running mood. He's copped one in the forehead there, has he? We'll play on, that happens. Now Hughes from five metres inside his own half. And underneath it is Blake. Got to be sure on the kick chase with him, and they are there. He's a tackle buster, Blake. Really nice play in that set from the Melbourne Storm where you saw them work towards that right-hand side at some great width of pass. Started at dummy half as they moved it out to their left-hand side and brought Kenny Bromwich with that great late footwork back through the middle. They get into shape so well, Melbourne. Ask so many questions of your defensive line. As we see Campbell Gillard now. He's been busy and offload. Well, the front row is genuine offloads in this contest so far. Won't be long before Paola gets one away. Now Marty on for Nathan Brown. So missed round one, bench round two, starting side round three. The man wearing the 13 for Parramatta. Lane now with it. So kick will come from long range here. Moses will go high. Test them out. Pappenhausen is set. He's ready to launch the jump. Look at the focus from Pappenhausen. Was never going to drop that. Fantastic. Flew right above the pack as the Parramatta players went past the ball. That was a great take from the little fullback. He's been busy early. Look at this. Flying high above Nathan Brown. Uh, about, uh, Dylan Brown, I beg your pardon. Very Slater like that catch, timing the run up. Boy. What a run. <laughs> Better seen his oh boy. Yeah. Good test. Eighth game of first grade. And running into Mr. Granite. <laughs> oh, ball is down. Kenny Bromwich says knocked down by Campbell Gillard. They all look up. Looking for adjudication. Play on Melbourne. Munster is cross country. Here he is. <laughs> is that, what's his running metres there? 35 metres across field and maybe a metre and a half forward. Now Smith. Good run. Brand, uh, Remus Smith there out of dummy half. Smiths and your Browns are going to get today, well, Michael. I tell you, <laughs> there's all sorts of double names out there this afternoon, Andrew. Now Kafusi, Smith, Hughes, all oh, delivered to Jesse. I think Jesse thought it, he thought it was 40. He sort of pulled up on his run, and then the ball's gone down. They've ruled knock on rather than forward pass. Yeah, the first time Jerome Hughes has got that wrong this afternoon. Jesse Bromwich was disappointed with himself, but that was a tough pass. Hughes deep into the line, plenty of Parramatta defenders there, and just a no-look pass, Papali all over him. And Bromwich filthy. A cheap turnover from the Melbourne Storm in great field position. 16 and a half gone. Probably a few too many errors as far as the two coaches are concerned, but entertainment has been uh, plenty going on out there. Away from me though, because we're not set yet. Well, so the shot clock's still going. Do you? Yeah, yeah look at the territory there. It's been all Reed, down. Parramatta's into the field, Reed, Melbourne. So much territory in position. Reed, 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 Reed. 
just dumping that one off to Tom Opacek. Pretty good season last year, Opacek. 21 games for Parramatta. Now for Blake, another strong right. carry. Some run when you leave Asifa Solomona behind, as he did there. Is Paolo? There's the offload. This is good. This is a battle within a battle. The, the offloading we're seeing from front rowers. They've all had an offload. The Another four starting the front Brown. rowers. Brown to Polo. They're inside the Melbourne half. Oh, Junior, is he okay? They're big legs, aren't they? Now it goes from Brown. Dummy and slices through. Gutherson coming up. Dylan Brown. Absolutely scintillating from the pyramid of 5'8. He did it so easily there. And Gutherson is the recipient of a four pointer. Well, they're in heated discussion here. Gutherson with Ashley Klein, the referee. But take your hat off here to Reed Marnie because it started with Reed early in the contest. Sometimes this was the offloading period here from the Parramatta side that really broke up the Melbourne defence through the middle. Marnie got out of dummy half here. He found Nathan Brown. And this time it was Dylan Brown. I got it right, Vossi. He gets into the backfield and finds his captain, Gutlison, who's one of the best support players in the game. He finishes it off. But early in this contest, it's been Reed Marnie that's been going down that left-hand side and given Dylan Brown plenty of opportunity to run the footy, get himself into the game. And on the back of it, this time he finds a way through the Melbourne defensive line, finds Gutlison on the inside, and that was the hit back that Parramatta needed. Had his career best try scoring year last year, but then went into a drought. Going into today, had only scored one try in his past 13 matches. You see there, it's a most intriguing post-try celebration to get up and blowing up at the referee. I thought <laughs> it's <laughs> normally the Gutherino. Yeah, he's putting a complaint. Now, I can only take a stab at what that may be about. Is it Melbourne not standing square at marker? It's got to be something technical that he's launched a complaint in. It's come after he scored the try. I think Brad Arthur would be really impressed, in particular that set, because that is exactly the Parramatta of last year, where they were really physical through the middle, some offloads, and they blasted through the middle of the Melbourne Storm pack, and on the back of it, some really good shape, and that's just a great run from Dylan Brown, so strong and athletic, gets through the tackle of Hughes, and Gutherson, one of the great support players in the game through the middle. Corey on the sideline. Yeah, terrific player down that left-hand side is Brown. He was terrific last week. Five tackle breaks, 13 runs for 138 Actually, metres. But it's the missed tackles. It's the missed tackles from Jerome Hughes and also Cameron Munster. 13 in total last week between them. Five from Hughes. Expect a fair bit of traffic to go down on the edges, particularly after they're able to get a bit of a disjointed uh, defensive line through that middle off the back of what Mick just touched on on the second phase. So keep, keep an eye on that space. Sign that uh, Moses' first choice kicker again today as well. Lucky for Brown. They have been a good start from the middlemen. I mean, both for Melbourne, Jesse Bromwich and Asifa Solomon have been enormous for, for Melbourne. But on the back of it, Campbell Gillard's best start of the season, without a doubt. And we're seeing Junior Palo really starting to get his groove together and offload in that previous set. Not another strong carry here. The battle through the middle, fantastic offload now. Offload. This is great. This is great to watch. Pedersini. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Grenit on Simonson this time. Penasini saying, oh, that's good, good it wasn't me. Here's Papalihi with the ball. Campbell Gillard, by the way, now eight hit ups for 63 metres so far. Brown with the ball, and the offload count is three for the, the Parramatta front row and a couple for Melbourne. Back for Moses. Mighty high strike this one. Pappenhausen tried to trap it. Don't know about that. Oh, and Hughes point. has it. A towering bomb off the inside of his boot. We saw Mitch Moses talking to Benji Marshall a, a couple of weeks ago on his show about how he likes to hit those floaters and those reverse torpedoes. Well, Pappenhausen, one of the best in the business. Watch this. He's got no idea. The flowing mullet nearly gets in the way. He hangs the right boot out. And as Lane flies high, look at little Jerome Hughes, the former fullback. What an important take that was. Melbourne under pressure. If he had a trap that, I would have given him the Dalian medal to play of the year now. <laughs> if he could trap a Mitch Moses bomb, he is the best player of all time. King finds himself as a dummy half there. And Hughes bombs, if you like, from inside his own 40. But of a conventional float down the field for Gutherson. What a battle this is. 21 minutes gone. 
six all score line and they're going blow for blow hit up offload for offload big hit for big hit and there's simonson caught there now opacek will take a run out and there's an offload even from the center marnie with the ball now gutherson is able to push away from brandon smith and on play four they're inside the storm half and that's the problem for junior paolo there so he's gone off and they're tending to the ankle obviously very inconvenient by it this kick right at the corner papenhausen attacks it moses was in front of him great work to get the melbourne fullback in the corner it's one area that's really developed in reed marnie's game another fantastic kick we saw a 40 20 uh, in the first game of the season that time just a nice driving punch kick putting papenhausen in the corner and now Melbourne doing it tough. Here's the man with granite. <laughs> We're calling him a bench top. <laughs> That's a high quality <laughs> bench top. <laughs> Justin Ollum. And now Kenny Bromwich. This is Jesse running with the ball. But it's an incredible stat that we set at the top of the game. So you're watching Melbourne, you're sort of like a farewell tour. The Bromwich brothers, Brandon Smith. Won't He's be there. Feliska Fusi won't be there. there. There was a tackle over there. Gee, that hurts. Similar. Fifth tackle penalty. They've done so good. And that brings all the good work undone. It was a great kick from Marnie and a really strong defensive set. And look at Melbourne here on their haunches just taking a breath. That was a real moment for Parramatta, who have wrestled back momentum to put the foot on the throat. And they've relieved all pressure. A penalty now. Jerome Hughes kicking downfield. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts the Parramatta side. You just can't keep giving Melbourne opportunities out of their own half. I always say in the big matches, one of your tactics has to be not to let your opponent start a set inside your own half. And they've just done that with Melbourne. Through real discipline. Smith surrendered absolutely in that tackle. Hughes out for Munster. Over the top. Eremia's got an unchecked line down to the 20. Really fine top speed. Now Pappenhausen, but stayed well clear of the sideline. And inside, Kafusi, he's managed to scrap his way through a couple of defenders. No one went low on him, did they? Well, they were the play on him. Yeah, that was messy. Really good carry. Felice Kafusi, such a powerful runner. Really nice inside ball. And was promoting the footy. Looked like he was trying to offload. Someone was hit off the ball in back play. What are you doing, guys? Just over here, Brandon. And another set for Melbourne down on Parramatta's line. All right, go. All on there. So on the restart, King will take the first one. They probably would have banged it over quite easily for an 8-6 lead. They're going to go for maximum reward here. Hughes, Munster, Ollum. Okay, Stuff from the 19-year-old now, Pappenhausen with a little stutter step. And they've managed to hold him up. Three down, three more to go. Smith, back-to-back -back penalties conceded. You don't often hold out, Melbourne. Strong defence there, Brown. Kafusi there for Parramatta. Now Smith goes, crash play, Jesse Bromwich. Tuffle one-on-one. Heels have done so well up to this point. Smith for Hughes to float over the top. Eremia with it. Or rather Smith angling back in field. Passes come loose. Scramble from Parramatta. Stand up and applaud it. They're strewn everywhere, but they, they came from everywhere. Have a look at them just getting up. What about the attack from the Melbourne Storm off the set restart? They went long. They found space out with Remus Smith. They then went to the left. They went through the middle. They almost found a way through there. And on the final tackle... A lovely floating ball over the top. Remus Smith, what about the way he moved his body through defenders? What an athlete. And the defence of Parramatta vastly improved from what we've seen in the opening fortnight. Great desperation, great goal line defence. Moses, probably he fell into the tackle there. And another offload. Marnie on to Gutherson. Now for Dylan Brown. Lane with it, doesn't pass to Wapacek. But you've got to be loving this second phase football on Fox League today. Offloading a real feature. Last tackle, Josh. Last tackle, Eels. Inside Melbourne Territory. Get a couple of statues up there to stop the, the pressure on the kicker. I can only think that's what Gutherson might be 
complaining about. That one's hit Penasini on the head. Pappenhausen almost deliberately knocked it forward. But they've got last the first tackle. one. Could that be Evan a carry-on from last week? The complaint that they lodged against Cronulla putting pressure on Moses. Possibly. that They've now put up a couple of statues there, as we call them, beside the ruck on the last tackle. There, Jesse Bromwich coming from the field. Been a great stint from the veteran. Been outstanding. Nice offload here from Ola. Munster on the attack. A lot of touches for Munster in this contest. Oh, oh boy. Oh, he came. Oh. Hey, <laughs> I see you. Well, yeah. There's Ollum. Flick pass for Meany. What will Munster come back at? Yeah, good as I stuff. Yeah, 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 good that stuff. Well, well, it's fair game there, isn't it? What, well, what's got wrong there? just called Hill. Pappenhausen on halfway. Now they've yeah, folded yeah. him up. Oh, here, Wayne Reed. Now Hughes. Yeah. This time they rush up on the yeah, arrow. He's been very good this hey, year. Man. He's going to be part of the 17 all season on what he's shown. What a, what a fine beast, man. Now Smith, Hughes, bomb from 35 metres out. All yours, Wanga Blake. Eyes on it. And Parramatta back in possession. And now inside the final 13 minutes, might get a, a call from Corey Parker at this point. You, you're six all, you're, you're up close to this. Who do you feel's got the advantage, Corey? Well, at this point in time, the Melbourne Storm have got the advantage based on just their field position. But um, just watching that little battle we saw from we saw from Pop Lee on Munster, he's giving him absolute gobful Munster. He's grabbing his ribs on the way back. He's he was haunched over there before on that kick chase. But the terrific uh, goal line defence from the Paramount Eels, 21 times, 21 times the Melbourne Storm have been inside 20, have been tackled inside 20, and only come up with the one try. Superb start. The Paramount Eels, but what a game we have on our hands. Yeah, that's a great stat, Corey. Pappenhausen under that high ball. You stuck on the first half to end, do you? 11 and a half minutes to go. No, I felt both sides came out and uh, were a bit frantic. I, I felt like, you know, such a big game, two genuine contenders in this competition, and it took a little while to settle in. They're all a little bit loose, but both sides now controlling the footy, getting through their sets. It's really end to end stuff here. You know, just testing the ticker. 10 minutes to go, a little bit more here before half time. And it's a real battle through the middle. The arrow again. Well, Run, he's averaged uh, 42 minutes in the two previous games this year. Now for McDonald. And that one is propped up forward. King's got it. Play on the call. No, late call from the sideline official. Mr. Klein is on it. Well, was he? Well, I think Mr. Klein was going to let that go, Andrew. And Another touchies. Well, they cop a hard time. I think that came from the sideline, that call. It was the right call. He's, He's brought some energy. I know we're talking Liero. We don't see this often either. Parramatta opting yeah. for a wide scrum here. They want to have a shot from a wide field position here. But the bench of Melbourne, you know, some names that we've hardly heard of, mm. but doing their job as they always do in this Melbourne system. McDonald, Liero, terrific early. In this multicultural round, we're celebrating the diverse cultural heritage of the entire rugby league community. Wherever you're from, Whenever you arrived, we're stronger together. The contribution of those born in other parts has been magnificent in the Australian Rugby League Premiership. Geez, look good, hasn't he? Get up now, Dylan Brown this afternoon. You know, last year, only three try assists across the season for Dylan Brown. He's got a good one today in setting up Gutherson. Makatoa on the run. Trent, get up now! So both uh, Kafusi and Makatoa now. The starting front rowers are off. Here is Brown, lively again, Lane. He is working them over on the left. Now inside the, the last ten of the first half. Makatoa. Oh, he is 29 years of age. Eighth game of first grade. Locking horns with a storm. Moses on the right. Inside ball. Tackle. That, is, that is an axe-like tackle from McDonald. Gary Gilmister would be happy with it. Last tackle. Moses was aiming at the padding. This is brilliant. This is brilliant from Jerome Hughes here. Just watch how he uses the goalpost pad if we can get a replay. And it, it just stops the Parramatta defenders coming through, being able to get a clean shot on him. That was great work. Watch this. It's a lovely kick from Moses. Deep into the end goal. And there, yep, just got on the outside of Kafusi, who was coming through. Smart play there, Jerome Hughes. 
just clipped the post on the way back. Now Smith kicks from inside the 40. And Gutherson's got it first bounce. So you've got a couple of Bromwiches. You've got Kafusi's on both sides. You've had your troubles Browns. with your Browns. Oh, Smith. <laughs> your Smith. It's all happening. I think you've caught Brandon Cameron. He's come back oh, for boys. an afternoon. <laughs> oh, Michael Ennis. Got to be some other former hookers we could sign. <laughs> uh, now it goes on with Kafusi. Noel Mabry, is he out there, the former Tiger? Who can we get? Reed Marty to the left side. And Brown, Noel Moses, quick hands on the bounce. Off a check, doesn't get to it at first attempt. Made it easy for Mia to wrap him up. And Gutherson with the ball. Paramount a try scorer, back for off a check. Lovely swerve, lovely step. And uh, then held by Jerome Hughes. Has to be six to go, well, has to be. Jerome Hughes there. There it is. Set restart on last play. Parramatta, Makatoa. I think once Hughes is most deliberate from Hughes. Well, once he'd, <laughs> once he'd been pinged, he thought, well, I might as well go the extra five seconds. I'll stay hanging on. He got the picnic blanket out. <laughs> Just had, had a cuppa. Corn beef sandwich, <laughs> a cup of tea. Here's Marty. Moses. I believe he, they read that. Yeah, that was, that was telegraph, that one. Smith up. Still on with Parramatta. And Kavusi and uh, Brown and Moses. Brown over the top. Here they go with Blake. Launches himself. Blake with the touch of the mic. The Sevo's there. He has just run at Pappenhausen and said, sorry, Pappy, I'm scoring. Yeah, sit back and enjoy this. Dylan Brown having a first half here at Amy Park. This is a cracking ball. Just watch this, Dylan Brown, great ball movement through the middle. Brown out the back, Moses Early squares deep into the defensive line. Dylan Brown lands a pearler. Wonga Blake oh. just accelerates into contact. Watch this front on. Ball there from Brown onto the chest, and he just accelerates into Pappenhausen. Back. Get that into your son. <laughs> and I tell you, for the Parramatta side that are just down on troops in their outside backs, well, it, well, Wonga Blake, of course he'd love to be playing centre, but he's been asked to do a job. He was enormous at Shark Park last week, and in the opening 40 minutes, oh, yeah, let's go. He's loving it, doing a great job for Brad Arthur and Parramatta. What a try. Uh, well, it's not quite Sebo on Tedesco from a few seasons ago at Combank, but it's no less determination. You saw it on the shot. It was, it was I am coming. I am going for that line. <laughs> Well, was he giving you the fox in? There we go. We've got the Roosters fan here. By the way, <laughs> Look I, at him, see. I don't know whether we've got uh, the Parramatta fan who's been and who's been watching the Fox Sports coverage of the cricket, but that random Parramatta fan <laughs> celebrating last night for five days in Lahore, <laughs> watching the test, wearing the same Parramatta jersey. Yeah, if he would have been for five days. Putrid. <laughs> exactly. Putrid. But there he was, representative of the NRL at the cricket in Pakistan. It was there when Cummins took the last wicket and the Aussies won the series. Well done, the Penrith boy. Pat Cummins, Moses, second kick for the day. Michael Ennis has put a flag up. I don't know where he got that from. It's 12-6 to Parramatta. What terrific, terrific game that we've got on our hands here. Just right on the stroke of half-time, the Parramatta Eels strike back down their favoured left-hand side. Try number seven for the year. But what a mismatch. What a mismatch it is at standing at 190 centimetres and 100 kilos. Good luck, Pappenhausen, just giving away 20 kilos, weighing ringing wet at 80. What a sight to see on that left edge. Wonga Blake. The vision Look at the there, physique. The Corey uh, and Vossi of the Melbourne supporters in the corner just grimacing mm. for Ryan Pappenhausen as he accelerated towards him. It was like watching a car crash. There's been a few after the years. Think of... Uh, Inglis on oh, yeah. Sal. So oh, yeah. Remember that one? Marcus By was a beauty in the corner for it's Melbourne. Like Lockett. sitting down this afternoon trying to enjoy their afternoon. You're going to dig up all these horrendous <laughs> moments for blokes. Just let it be, Andrew. Let, let, let them enjoy the football. Now, Nakatoa. I very great seniors watching somewhere. He was a beauty. I knew you had another one. Bowling over <laughs> defenders for Parramatta in a left corner or right corner. Before he's go, but uh, here we go. Papalihi with the ball. Okay, let go now. What a game! 12 6. Four and a half to go until half time. So, oh, Reed Marnie. Yeah, boy. 
slipped out there. Yeah, he'd be disappointed with that. His service has been terrific this afternoon, yeah, particularly his wide middle. passes, giving Brown and Moses plenty of time and space to attack. But here goes. just slipped through the grasp of his hands there. He'll be, he'll be dirty on himself there, it's Reed, really. and that's a turnover now that just, yeah, just, that just clipped the back of the man playing the ball as he was trying to sweep through and deliver his pass. Chance now for Melbourne. Look at that, both sides starting to control the footy. The completion rates there. Parramatta certainly improved at the back end of this game. They gave Melbourne plenty of chances, didn't they, early? Half-time show not far away. Braithen Astor, Cooper Cronk, Benji Marshall run the rule over this one and briefly look ahead to our third game on Super Saturday from Canberra. Raiders and Titans tonight. Rudy Smith's just clutching. He, he copped some contact there and he stayed on the ground in back play. He's up, but not exactly... And we're near 100%. There's young McDonald. Led by Kafusi and Mani. Mani will be a relieved man if they get through this set. King on for Kafusi. See, even with King, he's now in a ball play, ball play middle role. Never saw that at Newcastle. Amazing development here. And Kenny Bromwich again. He's got Mani away. He was denied the first time, Kenny. One try assist. Pretty sure the lock that one. Yeah, that was Carnage down the right edge. Mitch Moses blowing up. But the Parramatta side, they're, they're in deep conversation here. Justin Ollum and Mitch Moses having a heated spray here. Ollum blowing up, I think it's him again, who was part of the first try collecting Penasini. It was a no try. Let's watch here. It's the line from Ollum that's come under question again. And, and he, he's like a bowling ball. He just completely knocks over. Now, I think it's a poor read from Penasini who comes in, but he does get the outside shoulder of Moses. Yeah. Well, the two of them have, have ended up at Justin Ollum, who, like, he, you're, you're obliged to try and run, keep your line run through, but Parramatta closed the hole for him for Justin Ollum there. Well, Penasini needed to stay out. Simonson had to follow in Penasini. That, that was a poor defensive read there from Penasini. This is the blow-up that follows it. But at the same time, Justin Ollum can't run that outside in line no. on, on Mitch Moses. Maybe he can. Is the try confirmed? So now Nick Meany has his first try for Melbourne, the former Bulldog. When they get going, that left edge of Melbourne, they are. They're so slick. But that was disappointing for Parramatta. An error on the back of points, and they invite Melbourne straight down there in the stroke of half time. And if Pat Van Housen can land this, we're all locked up. And Harry Grant as uh, first choice kicker mm. last week. First time he kicked in the NRL and, and missed with his uh, two shots. And they were tough kicks from the sideline, and then all of a sudden they, they scored under the face of Pat Van Housen says, I'll have this one. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Harry. He's watching, he wouldn't be obviously allowed to come to the ground, so he's watching the Fox League coverage. Feet up, hope you're okay. You mean to say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> Pappenhausen, beautiful shot. What a game. We expected nothing less. This is heavyweight showdown. Even the coach is enjoying it. Craig Bellamy, a smile on the 39th minute. What on earth's gone wrong there? Is someone. Slips up and his streak. It's 12 all. Yeah, Hughes, Munster, Kenny Bromwich. What great ball playing from an edge back rower. He's got all the skills, Kenny, down that left hand side, been such a great player for such a long time. And the Melbourne fans are rallying behind their home team. Stay behind. Good atmosphere too in the crowd. And they know they're watching a real contest here. So, the Melbourne Storm with Josh King. I'll, I'll give you Josh's numbers just to highlight. You know, they're unchanged minutes for Josh King, who at best was, a, you know, 40 minutes. He's done seven hit-ups, 21 tackles. He's got the try assist. He's got a line break assist. A really good contribution from the, the man wearing the number 13 for Melbourne. That, to be fair, Melbourne fans knew very little about Josh, even though he'd been on the scene for a little while in Newcastle. Oh, and there he is again for Munster. There's another line break that says, Oh, oh Gutherson, what a was untouched on the inside. Pappenhausen was flying. Munster just had to find him. 
So Melbourne still with it. And Pappenhausen, they're going to look to spread. McDonald with it. Cut off load. The quality of the contest continues. May even be a little field goal snap up to half time just to break the deadlock. Oh, there won't be because McDonald loses the ball. And that will be all we have for the first half. The young fella Clint can't Gutherson. believe it. What, what a save from Clint Gutherson just launching his body at Munster. And he came up with another try saver. Geez, had some good moments. Gutherson, the captain. What a first half. Two tries all, two converted tries all at the break. The Storm and the Eels, 12 all. It's going to be a real physical start, this. Second half underway from an Amy Park, fine, and track is good. Melbourne with first use, and King takes the opening hit up of the second half. We get great access with the dressing room cameras. Half time, there was some video analysis done for Dylan Brown. They were isolating something for Dylan. Yeah. That will be down Melbourne's. Well, the side that Remus Smith defends in the right. Both right edges. Uh, Parramatta right side has been under threat. And, and also that right edge of Melbourne has had its challenges this afternoon. And no doubt they would have been looking at that and the success that they were having early. But the offloads of Parramatta was a real feature in that opening 40 minutes. Caused Melbourne plenty of headaches. Yeah, what Corey Parks has got to say shortly is uh, Melbourne on another run with Liero. So the bench players doing their job. Donald and Liero, impressive. It's had one handling error. Gutherson underneath that high ball. And back he comes, and well, the arrow obviously called offside. Now he's beaten Hughes. Gutherson. It's a big run. Play one, 40 metres away from the Melbourne line. And off scampers Opacek, and McDonald got him from marker. Six again now, Liera. It's Parramatta's way. There's Brown offloading. He is having a really good afternoon so far, Dylan Brown. See, if he could have landed that to Mitchell Moses, who was streaming through, that could have been points for Parramatta. Up and Brown will go for the straight one on play two. Well, this is an early, early chance for a big shot from Parramatta here. Moses to the right. They don't need to score this set, but boy, it'd be handy. Make the running in this second half. Penasini to play it. Marty now, Moses, Brown, short for Kafusi there. In front of the Melbourne Sticks on play four. Marty again, draws them in. Brown dishes on, Gutherson dummy not fallen for. Bounced away from Hughes, floats it across for Moses. Back against the grain. They went left, they went right, they went left, and then Moses, well, he's got the picnic rug out this time. <laughs> Last tackle takes the number one kicker out of play. Money to Brown, doesn't kick, double step, double step, offload, Money crunch from the inside. McDonald is the man who has saved it. His confidence is just growing oh, and growing with every oh. moment that passes oh. Dylan Brown. Again, bang, bang, off that left foot twice and then back inside to Reed Marnie. Some really nice signs early in the season from Parramatta's 5'8", Dylan Brown. Oh, Olam straight through. There he is, Justin Olam, able to offload, got it to Smith. If he finds open pasture, he's quick. Now Pappenhausen, now Veramia for Melbourne. What a start to the second half. I said semi-final like early. This is like it's sudden death. Oh, now Munster will kick on play two. Media's chasing. Here comes oh, Gutherson. Meany gets there clearly. What about the vision of Cameron Munster? His managers just put another zero down the end of the contract if you want him. Yeah, that was great vision. It was a wonderful set. Started with Justin Olam just charging through the middle. Came out the other side of the Parramatta defensive line, straight through Papa Lee and Marnie. Stepped Makahusi Makatoa and found Remus Smith. And on the back of that, it is just great vision from Cameron Munster in the blink of an eye. He just, just watch how flat, just look at this, just watch how flat there uh, Nick Mooney is out on that left hand side and how far Simonson was in field. And it had to be the bounce. It had to be the bounce. 
And boy, was it a good bounce for Mooney. That's unbelievable. Watch the ball. I mean, it's, it's, it's on the bounce. It's cool. He's trapped it. Chest. Then just turn and put the kick. Perfect. You could see his eyes there. They just scanned straight across field. And the class of Munster just recognised where Simonson was, where Meany was, and just that no fear of failure that, that we love from Munster. That, 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 that you can't touch that. That's, I mean, that's just pure football there. What you just saw to react, to get a poor pass off the bounce, and just execution so good. What a sport we watch here on Fox Lee. Munster setting that up and Parramatta almost scoring. You know, almost over. Now could be trailing by six. Yeah, they'll be disappointed, Parramatta. Uh, there's been a number of times that they've had the... Well, are we going to check the... No, I think it's the, the player in goal who's wounded and they're just waiting to check on there. Oh, they need the ball. That'll help. Well, they're sitting under the player's well, leg. There a, it is. That's an interesting one. <laughs> that surely can't be the only ball. Have you seen that before? Surely. He's hoary. Surely Corey could go down and get another one. Let's go, right. Get a pump in the bag, have you, Corey? Just, you there, Corey? Have you got a ball? <laughs> I'm pumping one up as no, we speak so we can get one out there. There it is. Well, that's amazing. Billion dollar game, and we the only ball we had we were using as a little medical assist for Opa check in goal. I saw Ash Klein standing beside Pappenhaus and he was looking at the locks, I tell you. It was a bit of, a bit of envy. You saw that? You say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> this is for 18 12. If we had raccoons in Australia, that'd be his nickname, I think. A raccoon. This is a big kick. It hasn't been kinder than the goal kicking of late. Pappenhausen. There it is. Bringing it back. Oh, yes. Yeah. Shaves the upright for 18 points to 12. It's a real shootout. Munster. And Moses, Corey on the sideline. I don't think there's a, any other player in the game that can come up with this play in the context of where we're at. Both teams have just gone out after half time. They've had a big deep breath. They've come out. Uh, the Melbourne Storm, they bust through the centre there. The ball hits the ground. He looks around. He just knows what's going on. The trust in his ability, the vision, more importantly, Nick Meaney, just to get on his role there and to execute the way he has for the start of this second half. The word coming out of the sheds at the half time, Melbourne would just wanted to improve their ball control and tighten up through the middle. Obviously, the offload has hurt them in that area. As for the Paramount Eels, well, Brad Arthur was exceptionally proud about how his team got back into the game. Help! He just wanted to go after it. What a great shot of the fans that was. See that ground level, the Paramount fans react. Everyone's sort of, oh, this frozen moment. Raiders and Titans getting ready for the big one tonight on Super Saturday. The, the moment of optimism when he kicked, the, the fans were like, oh, this is on, this is on, they need to bounce. And then the, the, the reaction yes. when it bounced up for Mooney was priceless. The one Parramatta fan with his beer, the beer just sat there. And, <laughs> I'm going to Pakistan to watch the test. <laughs> uh, Melbourne with the ball. A week late, now Smith with it. <laughs> Halfway, Melbourne in possession. Six minutes into the second half. Now back for Hughes. The Tim Zufo tomorrow on the main event. That'll be big. More NRLW for you coming your way before the finals. One of the standouts for Parramatta in the opening half was Sean Lane down that left edge and the target that he put on Jerome Hughes. Well, he's just clutching at a chest injury by the looks of things. Slow to get back into the... The attacking line here for Parramatta. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Just a little bit of the sports wrap up. Super Netball as well, first round. Foxtel the home, Fox Sports the home of Super Netball. So now Marty and uh, Makatoa on that run. He works hard. And there he is, Jimmy Paolo there. Didn't get any smaller at half time, did he? Here he is with the ball back over the 40. He is a giant. But Nelson Asa for Solomona in this and, and Junior. Now Marnie for Brown to kick on the run. Pappenhausen attacks it. Some may have let that bounce, not Ryan. Now he'll take off across field. Oh boy, got short up at the finish there by Papa Lee. Exciting stuff there from Pappenhausen. He just attacks everything on the field a tremendous take in the opening half where he flew above dylan brown and a real contested kick offload here now from mooney he was under pressure there mooney going back and offloaded mcdonald 
Donald was the Wynnum Manly Under-21 Player of the Year last season. That's been the journey into first grade here. Catching the attention. Looks a player. Now Hughes on for Liero. You can see the production like, can't you? They're going to lose some big names into the season. Liero and McDonald are going to get big minutes this year. Ready them for next season. Blake underneath it, lost it forward. Play on Melbourne. Munster's had it knocked out of his hands. Oh, wow, well, this is one you'd want to be worth the challenge here. Yeah, Munster That's my ruling. doesn't mind rolling the dice. He might have a look at this. I thought it's the right call from Ash Klein. I thought it came off Remus Smith. Here we go. I think you've got to, you've got to challenge that one. Okay, it's going to be close. Here, Bucky. We have a captain's challenge from Melbourne, disputing the decision of a knock-on originally by them. Does it by come Melbourne. off the chest of Blake? We had one of those in earlier today. Tyson Frazil off yeah. the chest on a run through. You just first time round, you thought knock on for sure. Anyway, let's go to the bunker. Right side, Melbourne kick chase is cleared as onside. We'll monitor the players on the inside. Yep. It's a clean run to the ball, and those players stay outside 10. Another good contest for possession. Yeah, maybe it does, unless it comes off. It's clipped. Smith, I think, Smith hasn't it? first. Blake certainly gets... Flicks the right hand of the Melbourne player. We now just need to see what direction the ball goes. Well, it goes into Blake, doesn't it? Does it not hit Blake's left hand? After that initial touch, the ball travels forward into the Parramatta player, which yeah. concentrates the knock-on. The challenge is unsuccessful. It's the last tackle. It's going to be a handover just here, guys. So, Melbourne, you have no more challenges for the remainder of the game. You're going to be able to play the ball with the last tackle. Still think worth a crack. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Those ones are always 50-50 and... He was confident, Munster. So, 32 minutes to go. 18-12 to the now, Melbourne Josh. Storm. That's well, lived up to everything we thought it was going to be this afternoon. We, we said that the conditions were going to allow both footy sides to be able to attack and play the type of footy that they want. It's been a tremendous uh, start to the game. Half an hour remaining. The game in the balance. Two genuine, genuine premiership threats this year going at it here. And, uh, four unbeaten sides coming into round number three. One of those quite obviously has fallen by the wayside. Uh, the Broncos playing tomorrow night for you, exclusive to Fox League. And now Papalihi, oh gee, if he had a pass, Buddy screaming for it there. Heels 15 metres away from the line. Moses, little dab, here comes Brown. Oh, but there's Super. Jerome Hughes. What a take from Jerome Hughes off his bootlaces and Pappenhausen now. Oh, oh, he was almost away. Can you believe it? Oregon Kafusi, that may be the tackle of his career. <laughs> that's, that's a try saver from 70 out or 80 out. Yeah, he just hung, out, hung on to him. And now, set restart for Melbourne, ruck infringement against the Eels. How often have we seen that this afternoon where Parramatta have got themselves down on Melbourne's uh, try line and they've just come up as we see an error now from Brandon Smith yeah. early in the tackle count first play yeah, he's disappointed with that but the number of times that Parramatta have got down to attack the defensive line as we see now another penalty all the guys inside here, here for Parramatta I'll get it out in a minute everything's all happening here at Amy Park that someone from Melbourne has come up with a really big play whether like Jerome Hughes there scooping it up Pappenhausen out of dummy half we saw in the opening few minutes of the game, it was Munster out of dummy half, and they've just completely taken all the momentum away from Parramatta. Well, it's Parramatta's turn again to apply some pressure. Play one is 25 metres away from the Melbourne line. Arnie and Moses. Will Moses pick a moment to, to run? Is he inconvenienced by that leg injury? It's time to mix it up. Brown's had a running game on. No. Thank you, Hersey Makatoa. There you go. Getting cons consoled. Really, really genuine there from Nelson. That's for Solomon. <laughs> bad luck, mate. Bad, bad luck. That's yeah, there's bad been luck. moments of these for Parramatta. They just keep bringing themselves undone. Again, great field position, and the ball just comes free. Simple as that. And just watch Big Nelson here. Corey Parker on the sideline. 
Yeah, just been watching Brandon Smith really closely come up with that superb tackle on Papali'i. And then after that, he had a run out of dummy half. He was clutching at his hand before he went into dummy half. And he came up with the error. Obviously, just coming back from a broken hand well and truly early. Just one to watch there for the Melbourne Storm. We will do. Corey Parker's sideline at Amy Park. And here is Pappenhausen. He's really starting to lift his involvement. It's great offload there from Pappenhausen to Rima Smith. He's got him down for seven tackle busts. A line break and now an offload. Ryan Pappenhausen today. Brandon Smith off the field. Corey, what is the story here? Yeah, interesting one. As I mentioned, he was grabbing his hand. They made a bit of a call to get him off. I'm not sure. I'm definitely sure it's not a... Uh, a, a I'm pretty sure it's not a, a change that they wanted to do, but um, I'll get try and get down there and get some answers out of Melbourne, who are pretty cagey when it comes to this sort of thing. In the meantime, can you believe it? Makatoa and Nelson yes. are for Solomon, and Nelson has lost it, and Makatoa's got up in his face and bit of a clap in the him face. Giving a round of applause. <laughs> this is this is footy. This Look at is... this, just charging over the top of poor old Reed Marnie, who's just thrown his body in front of one of the biggest men in the game, and. He's made a meal of that. Look at this, Makatawa, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to love that. How good's that? How good is that? Couple of big fellas up in each other's face mask there, if you like. This has been a sensational battle on the far side of the field today. Penasuni and Justin Oliver. Oh, here we go, boy. The young kid up against the granite, the bench top. <laughs> That's him, the bench top. <laughs> But if you've got a drink, still put a coaster down on it. <laughs> <laughs> the rules at our house. Parramatta with the ball. Marnie. I bet Marnie. How brave was Marnie taking Asifa oh, Solomona? See that off. from Solomona. Makatoa Asifa Solomona sideshow has ended the game. Moses Paolo. There is Brown. Gutherson locked up. Handcuffs changed the whole thing there from Eremia in that tackle. Now Brown. Paolo, the, the offload's been put away for a moment from the from the big fellas. It's tight at 18-12, 27 to go. Brown, Moses, kicking, looking for Simonson. Just beats them all over the sideline. Yeah, really nice work there from Mitch Moses. They went deep into the line and dragged in some of the defenders. And he recognised that Olam was in field, but Mooney, hedging his bets, was there covering it. Did a pretty good job there, Mooney, who's come in for Xavier Coates today. Yes, what an afternoon he's had. Coming in, filling in last minute. Yes, Coates out with a hamstring injury. As for Solomona and Makatoa, what have they got for us now? Parramatta giving themselves a chance. They've completed at 83%. Nelson on report. Yeah, there, there was a moment, as I said, with uh, Makatoa where he came in late. Here it is. Watch this. Yeah, into the back of the head. Wait, is that... Is that not a sin bin? It's direct contact to the back of yeah, the head. Yeah, it's yeah. a swinging arm bossy. Yeah, it's a black on tilt. So, so the, why are we... Battle. We'll move on. That, that's with force guys. and in the head. Just watch this as he spins. It, it's direct contact oh. to the back of the head. And he's had time to plan himself and think about it. It's deliberate. It's worse than a crusher tackle, that. What's happened there? And then, well, now, Makatoa was... Well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Makatoa and Asa for Solomona. Right, let's go. Jerome. And we've got time to, to put an octagon or something out there. Let the two of them go. Have, a, have their own little bat. But they, they are both on tilt now, go, these two. It, and it's just brought a little bit of spice to this contest. Well, I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> they are eyeballing each other. Yeah, you look at him. He's, he's sizing by, him up. Makatoa's sizing him up. Here we go. Nelson just checking all the teeth are there on the big screen. Olam took the first run just inside the parameter half, 25 minutes to go. Lewis is out there. He was dummy half there. He's going to play a dummy half roll with Smith off the field. Chris Lewis for the Melbourne Storm. And here he is. Oh, geez, dusty ball there to Munster. That wasn't the best. Now he'll take off and run. That's better. On the roll forward. The arrow is cut down in the tackle. Play four done. Lewis. Here he is. Asifa Solomona, a little bit of footwork, doesn't look to pass. Paolo had him low. Again, Lewis and Munster. He'll kick again. Simonson's got it. Got a good bounce. He's oh, close to the line. Down. Holland got him hard. Good play, Simonson. Yeah, he did well there. He slipped, actually, just before Munster kicked the ball. 
in that far corner. And he did well, Simonson, to regain his feet. Get out of the end goal. And now Parramatta having to work it out. Penasini, another carry. He's been good, the young kid. Makatoa leaving the field in the background. Him and also Nelson. Must have missed out on the lollies at half time. But big RGC's <laughs> back into the fold now. Great width there for Paramount. There's points in there, isn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't even rest easy at 24 12. I mean, Paramount have got to back themselves here. Noses, kicks from outside the 30 that time. Challenge was okay on the perimeter half. There was a tackle in the first half that uh, went unnoticed, and it looked like Gutherson complaining after he scored uh, from Asfa Solomona on Junior Paul. He, he just doesn't look 100% in this second stint, Parlo. Yeah, there was a suggestion of cannonball. Our, um, our team have had a look at that. The, they, they think it's on the minor scale. It is, it is, but just the sheer weight of Nelson coming into the lower body of something we've seen Aaron now from Well, they've said play on from Arsifa Solomon, a ball hitting the deck. And he's certainly in the game at the moment, Nelson. We're on tackle four. Number five from Parramatta is Shut up, it's me. Bailey. We've asked now the game's been stopped by the injury surveillance. No oh. There's no challenge. It's a stoppage. No, no, no. There's a stoppage. Because They're saying they want to challenge the rough ball while there's a stoppage to the injury. Uh, to go off for a they don't miss anything it's to players, do they? So oh. they're saying Bailey Simonson has to go off for an HIA. That's been from the He's got a bit of blood there. The doctor. Tackle four, On the right four. eye. So it must have been a head knock that went unnoticed. But yeah, interesting. Uh, yeah, just going back to that tackle from Asif Solomon. Look, we've, we've seen a number of them creeping back into the game uh, to start this year. And what, uh, you're right, it was on the minor side, but just the sheer weight of Nelson into that lower leg of, of Parlor. Right, is that Ray Stone going at the right wing? He's got the right centre, Ray Stone, into the game. This is that tackle there. And it just, yeah, it just got Parlor's ankle. And he's... Just doesn't look himself at the moment, the big fella. Since you don't reckon that uh, Cameron Munster's licking his lips when he sees Ray Stone at it right centre. They put the kick out that way, and uh, then it's bounced up, not covered up by Penasini. Melbourne have got it back. Ray Stone out, confronted by Justin Ollum on that side. So Ray Stone at centre, yeah, with Ollum coming at him. Brandon Smith coming back into the action here. Both sides having to reshuffle. And Bailey Simonson off for a HIA, and as you said, Ray Stone looks like he's in the right centre, but an accidental offside here from Melbourne gives I'm Parramatta an opportunity I'm to line, finally get out of their own end. They just need to control possession, Parramatta. Their second half, both with and without the ball, has just been a little loose in the opening 18 minutes. They have to be in touch with someone at the Moss Vale Dragons. I don't know if Ray had any, any background in the centres as a junior. Now Campbell Gillard on the run. 41 metres away from the Melbourne line. Reed Marty go down that uh, right corridor. Completely taken low by Munster. He's putting together some decent numbers again. Luckily, as uh, Moses across. Paolo short there. Some of the Melbourne fans thought forward to Lane. In position again, 21 and a half minutes to go. They haven't scored second half. Parramatta, big junior. On it comes to Campbell Gillard, great, great tackle, tackle. Munster. Ball and all shot in the front rower. He's really been in the game today, Munster. Moses, kick, oh, oh. it's a great catch. What a catch, Tom Opacek. A Melbourne player slipped. I think it was without interference from Parramatta. Bunker will check it anyway, but Opacek, there's certainly no uh, no dramas with the catch. Yeah, Mitch Moses on the back of some lovely interchange of passing from the Parramatta middle forwards. Parlo making a real difference. And Moses with time. Munster coming towards him, lands it perfectly. And Remus Smith, the man that slipped over as night falls here at Amy Park and conditions get a little slippery. And it was Opacek with the clean run to the line. Smith slips. Takes him out of play. Opacek comes down with the footy grounds. The ball in Parramatta now with 20 minutes to go. They're going to be level. Well, the roller coaster for the fans. That time you see the, the Melbourne fans. Uh, back of shot. Glum. What a difference it's made. Junior Parlo as Opacek waves. And Campbell Gillard, as Corey Parker mentioned. All we've got to do is keep you in the fucking grind. Keep kicking in the corner. Kick down there. Be really fucking 
Yeah, right yeah, in the huddle. We, we hear it there. Yeah, great access there from Fox League. And excuse the language, but they're right in the thick of things. And we love that. We love getting right in there with the players. Great access from Fox League. And Gutherson barking orders. They know how important this game is. A win in Melbourne can do so much for your season. Grind. The word, but the other word you heard, but yeah, but the grind. They're, they're talking about winning this one 80th minute. Oh, now, now, hold, hold on. on. So there, well, the Stewart's inquiry. Oh, There's been a Stewart's inquiry. Where was the try scored? Where are you putting the team, Mitchell? <laughs> oh, Mitchell, you've been caught out there on Fox League going. Well, the heart it's sinks when the there. referee blows his whistle like that. Mm. But the, the, the fact that the bunker might be looking to overturn the try, Moses, we've had a filthy. We've had a breakthrough moment, though. We've actually picked up on that. You, you, did Mitchell know they reckon he knew? Well, there you go. He's been caught. Ready. Should take it off. <laughs> this is for 18 all, folks. Final quarter of the game has started. Oh. Moses successful. <laughs> Remember, Melbourne went to Golden Point last week. Parramatta fans have had to go through two heart stoppers the first two rounds. Corey Parker, sideline. Yeah, plenty to unfold in this game. And Tommy Opacek, he's played at the Broncos, the Cowboys, he's at Parramatta now. He's one of those players you can set and forget. He will try. He won't give you... Uh, he won't be the main headline of the act, but he will do his job time after time again and be multicultural around. Tommy Opacek had Serbian background. Well done, Corey. Yeah, he's reliable, you know, Tom Opacek. And Corey's right. He doesn't always make... You know, the back page of the paper the next day. But moments in games, he's always there completing wobbly kickoff here. And ended up okay for Parramatta. Ball sat up on its end. And Campbell Gillard. So now, Michael, I asked you at half time what unfolds the next 40. And what unfolds the next 20? Well, the conversation of Clint Gutherson has to ring true for Parramatta. They've just got to hang on to the footy when they've done that. They've troubled Melbourne when they carry the ball strongly through the middle, promote with some offload and kick into corners. They've troubled Melbourne. For Melbourne on the other side, they've just got to tidy up their errors and discipline. A game of uh, 12 line breaks and six tries. But no shortage of big hits. I mean, the physicality. When Corey used the word that, that, that Brad Arthur wanted, brutality uh, earlier. Well, it has been brutal at times, and there's been fire. Everything you'd want of a, a contest between two quality teams. Look at this from Dylan Brown. Uh, the confidence that he's got coming to Amy Park this afternoon. Stepping up, taking a, a major kick from when we, we see Moses dominate those moments for Parramatta so often. Brown having confidence to step up. Meany gets the treatment from Penasini and Stone there. As uh, Jesse Bromwich gets ready to come back on. Munster, another run. Pappenhausen under the ball and Brown comes in a defensive role to make the tackle. Oliver run, Melbourne now on the front foot, Hughes off the Bromwich straight into the field and dummy and run, Jesse. <laughs> He's coming from the sideline to make that run. Cavuzzi, Hughes, Munster. Oh, he, he stepped probably he out of his shoes there. Now the ball's gone behind Kenny Bromwich. Nick Meany's gone back for it. He's beaten a man. He's beaten another. Darting back. It is frantic out there. Pappenhausen. Hughes, last tackle. Kick for the corner. Here comes Remus oh. Smith. Oh, Blake was taken in there and got it back and gets a penalty. It has been the battle this afternoon on this right-hand side. Two great ball. athletes of our game. Remus Smith from Wonga Blake. And often we see so much congestion, but these have been one-on-one -on -one battles. Look at that from Blake. Flying high, hands up above his head, and just collected in the air from Remus Smith, and a relieving penalty for Parramatta. Gee, Munsters look dangerous every time oh, yeah. he's had the footy this afternoon. Tackled mid-air. The ruling, Melbourne did question it, but uh, the challenge is now gone. Dialed in. The players in this contest. Yeah. Line, no smiles line. and laughing now. Getting down to the championship minutes. Who's to say we won't go beyond 80 minutes here? Got some fair field goal exponents. Pappenhausen fresh from a, another golden point winner. He's got four in his career. Moses has done it plenty of times. Gutherson has done it. Munster has done it. So take your pick if we 
Well, if you need a field goal to decide this one, Brown and Lane. It's good footy, that. Oh, Hughes. Well, Hughes is saying it was dropped by him rather than a strip. But they've got no challenge. They've got no challenges. So nothing we can do about that there if they rule in Parramatta's favour. Yeah, so Parramatta will challenge. Tackle two here, Bucky. Against them. We have a captain's challenge from Parramatta. There you go. the decision of a knock-on. So they've ruled the touch judge or the sideline official has tipped Klein that he lost the ball rather than Hughes strip it. So now Parramatta challenge that. <laughs> you tell me. Well, I mean, Hughes is all just looking all at the ball. intent all from Jerome Hughes here at the moment. But has he got a ripping motion from it? Jerome Hughes' left hand is on the ball yeah. and he has the attempt to strip. Yeah. Challenge is successful. It, I feel like it's the right call. Yeah, we're, we're looking for a, a late for a strip like motion. Your own. Probably not as obvious as some others, but his hands were certainly around the footy. And that then, that left hand, as that pulls back towards his body, was enough for the bunker to rule on it. But a vital challenge yeah. for Parramatta. Vital challenge. Now, you, you see that, Jerome Hughes, now in hindsight, would have rather the ref ruled in yes. Parramatta's favour in the first instance and just said, play off. Now they've conceded territory. The Marnie, Brown and Lane combination down the left-hand side for Parramatta this afternoon has turned average sets into great sets. They've been terrific down there. Chris Moon! Putting it, Michael Ennis, Corey Parker. The experts in commentary on this one. Brown, Paolo with that. Big Junior really keeping the legs moving. For Solomona was right around the ankles there. Can Parramatta get their noses in front? Gutherson. Back with Papa Levy there. Yet another touch for the back rower. Who's uh, 11 hit ups today, 32 tackles. Hello there in receiver roll. Brown out in front of Brown. That's Nathan to Dillon. Lane Eremia came in off his wing, did well. Had to get a piece of Sean Lane and got enough. Now Gutherson, Dillon Brown. For Nathan Brown. And uh, it would be a great moment if he was tackled by the two Bromwiches. But have Browns and Bromwiches everywhere. Now Marnie, Dylan Brown, Gutherson, this time it's Smith. Great defence from the outside in from Melbourne. However, Last tackle. That, uh, wait, 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 that ends the Parramatta set. Yeah, that left side of Parramatta really coming together in that set. And some great defensive reads. This man, Eremia, carrying the footy now. A great read on Sean Lane. And Remus Smith out of the line, coming hard at Gutherson. It had to be made two really important tackles in that set. Just on uh, Dean Eremia, the right wing, 12th game to first grade, looking for his 12th consecutive win here. Some sort of run. And his part in the match up to date. Nelson held there. Stones closer to the action. Moses defending out at centre. And uh, Munster pulls up again there. Collision with Pappenhausen. Last play at 18 all. Hughes is the kicker this time. Floating bomb. Do they want to get it on the full? Oh, no! He decided to play at it, then rushed at it, then lost it. Blake, advantage Melbourne. Yeah, he had to come in and attack that. It was a shallow torpedo bomb that went up perfectly off the boot of Hughes. And just straight off the chest of Blake. And that's a big error. Look at the Melbourne fans there loving it. And Parramatta now. This is a big moment of the game. They need to hold firm defensively in the Melbourne Storm. Well, they love restarts. They love moments to organise their defensive, uh, their attacking raids. And Munster now barking orders at the troops. Where's Pappenhausen? Melbourne champ goes up. What Together. Look at them in the middle of the field here. Pappenhausen and Munster. Of your screen there, here they go. Munster, Corset finds Pappenhausen away from Moses. Stone does well. What a set this is. Beatty to Munster and Bromwich on that carry. That's play number two at 18 all. Smith, Asifa Salamona, cut off low. Marty around his legs. Now Smith, the try score ready today. Bromwich just held. Marnie slipped then. That was a moment. That's the fourth. Smith. Oh, no. Put down by Lewis for Melbourne. Parramatta survived. Yeah, great scramble defence there, Jesse Bromwich. He went close. Reed Marnie slipping and Nathan Brown having to come up 
with a really important stop on his goal line. This is it. Out the back to Lewis, and he just turns over the footy. I tell you, off the scrum, but you think of moments in games. Now, now Penasini and Simonson, the right edge of Parramatta defensively, but it was Pappenhausen marking up on Moses, who's having to defend in the centres. And luckily for Parramatta, the speed of Moses was there to be able to go with Pappenhausen. There's not many in the game that can go with him over 10 metres. Moses did. It was a great tackle. Check of Jesse Bromwich there. Well, we've had only the two tries in the second half. At what point, Michael, make a prediction now if we stay at an all for another few minutes at what point does the field goal enter the equation in this one do you want to do you want to lock one in definitely well in advance yeah the last five yeah well you often in anywhere around the 10 minute mark and under but in a game like this where points have been hard to come by yeah you get the opportunity to put some scoreboard pressure on you take it absolutely Campbell Gillard there bringing it back to the 20 meter line for Parramatta he's been strong this afternoon Campbell Gillard his best performance of the season so many elements of this match you've been there to, to love this afternoon. Oh. 11 and a half to go. Junior Paolo who falls into the tackle of Brandon Smith. We've got uh, Titans and Raiders to come up from Canberra after this one on Super Saturday. Jerome Hughes in trouble, clutching at a left rib. Yet yeah, really struggling. Okay. Let's go down to the sideline, Corey Parker. Yeah, he just come reeling out of that tackle. Jerome Hughes in all sorts of discomfort. He's trying to walk it off here. Hopefully for him, it might just be winded, but it could be some sort of rib problem, as you mentioned there, Mick. He's in all sorts of trouble. He's looking towards the sideline at the moment. Tepai Moroa has come to the sideline. Whether they interchange him, they can't with 11 to go, surely. Now, Bromwich, is he off the field? He is, the HIA. So we saw him getting yeah, he was the getting field check and now coming off so Tepo Imoroa coming into the, the game real. first minutes he's had in the match with 11 to go been really impressed with Tepo in the opening couple of games of the season just watch his carries the 17 for Melbourne carries really hard by the way just another point Parramatta last week in a tight game only used three off the bench they've only used the three Peter McGregor's had no football in this game so will they go the same again only use three bench players as Moses kicks long, very long. Pappenhausen underneath it. And back will come the Melbourne fullback. Oh, he was sizing up Ray Stone there. Just for a moment, I think Pappenhausen thought, should I take the Mossvale Jr. on here on the outside? <laughs> the Mossvale flyer, Ray Stone. <laughs> and there he is. He, he actually got the better of him in the tackle. Oh, boy. And there he was, staying on Olam. Stone v. Grenner. Here we go. The <laughs> tip by Moiroa. Back to the 30 metre line. Tough set for Melbourne so far. Just all short runs. Almost to the 40 at 18 all. Now Munster. Jerome Hughes. And it's attacking quick. And he's put it out of the fall. He's put it over the fence. He rushed his kick so much because he knew that he was so close to that 40 metre line. Hunting a 40 20. As we see him. Taking some sort of tablet medicine there to obviously relieve some cramp or some fatigue in this game. As Papalini now carries it, that's a big moment from Hughes. Wasn't the last tackle either, but as Michael said, he was uh, he was looking to do something inside that red stripe. It's a Parramatta inside the final ten now have an attacking set here. Well, is Moses thinking field goal? Moses on to Papalini. Taken low there by Lewis, and finished off. They slow down the play, the ball there. Stone for Moses, and Campbell Gillard, Nathan Brown, Dylan Brown. On it comes for Gutherson. Fend on Hughes. Can he keep it alive? He can. Trainer at Blue Shirt of Parramatta just out talking to Mitch Moses. I wonder if he's reminded him. Field goal. Now Lane with it, and Lane has taken down. They're wide out on play five. Moses calling for it. He's got himself 20 away. Money goes wide. Moses bombs this time. It'll come down five metres out. Stone to play on. And that's play on. Stone has scored. Stone juggled. Knocked it into the head, I think, of Nelson Asafa Salamona. And it bounced his way to score. There's no doubt about it at all. Ray Stone. Well, in, a a match winner. in a moment where the Parramatta trainer went straight to Moses, you thought field goal. Inside the, the final 10 minutes, all level with the Melbourne Storm. Take any points you can. 
Pappenhausen talking uh, about the decision. Moses, that's the second one of the afternoon that looks like it's led to points in that area. They call no man's land. The, the fullback's not there in between defenders, and it's Stone. What a pickup that goes up. Here's the kick from Moses, lands it perfectly. Stone comes through. Well, he taps the ball back. It comes off the Melbourne player yep. into Stone. He taps that back into the, the melon <laughs> of Asifa Solomona that's been in everything. He's melon included, yeah. Part of his body's been in it. You go, so Stone off forward, Olive. then not back into Asifa Solomona's head. I, I swear, well, you're at the parameter training. You tell me, do they ever do a kick? Moses looking for Ray Stone. Yeah, it's called Stoney. <laughs> yeah. it's, called, it's called the Stoney. Well, there you go. We've had Just a bit put of it over the top of granite and stones come through. <laughs> Ray Stone as a try scorer off a kick. And he, and he made a genuine leap for the ball. He thought, I want to make the most of this playing centre. This centre came. Yeah. Well, yeah. As Moses looks to extend it and does. There it is. This is vital now for Parramatta. They've got themselves in front for the second time this afternoon. There was an error on the stroke of half-time that allowed Melbourne back into it. They need to be really clean here as Brad Arthur. He is giving that chewing gum some real curry. This is for three in a row against Melbourne. What they are attempting to achieve here, Parramatta. They've got a record. Stand behind, told you, guys. Pappenhausen doesn't score against Parramatta. Stay behind. Don't, don't think for a, for a moment, Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne, no. uh, uh, they have not thrown everything just yet. No, there, there is plenty to happen in this Stay final behind. seven minutes. And, and nor is a short kickoff required here. There are seven minutes to go. There's lots oh. of sense to have a grab. Campbell Giller, they will attack through their defence. Melbourne, try and get that move. ball back. Justin. Force Wait an error. Like what a Super Saturday contest this is. He's been terrific in the second stint. Junior Parlo, him and Campbell Gillard this afternoon. Outstanding. Really disappointed with their performances last week against the Cronulla Sharks in particular. Just that physicality. There's a great offload now from Papali. We've got over 100 metres. Campbell Gillard, Paolo, Papalihi and Lane. All over the 100 metre mark against Melbourne today. He's been good. Nathan Brown's been terrific. Nathan Brown's just gone over 100, so there you go. Your five starting forwards outside of Marnie all over the 100 metre mark. Moses, Natalie he on that edge, and Kenny Bromwich lined him up. Nelson fell off. Last tackle. Tell you what, 25 18 would become interesting. Moses from 28 metres out, still in bomb mode. And it'll come down eight metres out. Lane has batted it back. Kafusi lost it. It went straight into the clutches of Campbell Gillard. He's such a target, Sean Lane, on that left-hand side. Parramatta fans think they've got them. Paolo close to the line, just held up. Melbourne, if there'd have been any chance, got to hang on this set. Money. Right Nathan Brown, left foot step. Finished off by Lewis. That's the third. Money for Gutherson. They're going to keep it close to the post. Maybe they are thinking one. I think they're thinking seven-point lead. Money Moses is there. They've got away from the post. Dylan Brown batted on, but forward by Lane. Moses is filthy. In, in the background, Mitchell Moses wanted the footy. He was in position to kick. He wanted a shot at field goal. Yeah, he's blowing up. He would have been dead in front and no one coming down on him there. He can't believe it. Look at him in the background. You can see Moses here in the background throw his hands in the air. He wanted the ball. So Melbourne at the wrong end as far as they are concerned, but still in the contest with five to go. Nelson on another carry. He's had a dozen of them today. He's been beautiful, hasn't he? That's Solomon. Donald good meters for Melbourne over the 30. And Pappenhausen, Munster, Hughes, they got a lot of potential. Match winners here. Holland will run at Moses. He then ends up in front of Penasini. They're on halfway the storm, but that's four tackles down. Now with Meany. Long for Munster. Spread across for Smith. Dummy. And through. Brandon Smith for Cheese. Back in for Munster. There's Pappenhausen. 
Superstar to superstar to superstar. And we're going to be 24 all. Well, the Parramatta side, that they turned the footy over down the other end. And on the back of it, the big guns from Melbourne. Brandon Smith, he shouldn't be there today. He shouldn't be there. He's got a broken hand. And watch this. The big dummy gets through the tackle of Lane and Campbell Gillard. Back inside to Munster. He finds Pappenhausen. And he gets through the tackle of Mitch Moses. Slams the footy down next to the upright. And we're going to be all level again. Oh, boy. Smith <laughs> charging and rampaging downfield. What a moment for the Melbourne Storm. They just do not die wondering. Sorry, Paramount fans. I gave you the Pappenhausen stat early. Now he's scored and they've never lost against the Eels when he has scored. And he'll be kicking for 24 all here. What a strike. And now the Moses, the regret at the other end. He didn't get the shot. They went left when he was in front of the post on play four. Opportunity missed. And just like that, the championship qualities of this Melbourne team. You just cannot clock off. You just, you just cannot, for a moment, rest against the Melbourne Storm. They just have class everywhere. Olam was threatening down the left-hand side of the field. They contained him. As for Solomona, he was looking for offloads. They contained him. And as the set started to wind down, it was Brandon Smith. The big moment. Jeez. This is to level up for 24 all. What about you, Parramatta fans, who've watched all three games on Fox League this year? This can't go for 25 rounds, can it? There's 24 all. First week, Titans down the wire. Last week, pipped by the Sharks. Now 24 all. With three to go, Corey sidelines. Strap yourself in, the bench is up, the crowd is going wild here at Amy Park, and rightly so, that man on screen becomes the first player to score six consecutive tries here at Amy Park. But Brandon Smith, he shouldn't be playing as Mick said. He shrugs off some would-be defenders, and they leak up with the big two. Three minutes to go. So there's the record, six games in a row at Amy Park, he scored a try. Bellamy biting the nails, here we go. Been here before, but it's only last week that they're all locked up. Right at the death when Latrell Mitchell kicked that two-point field goal. Tepai Moiroa bringing it back for the storm. Three minutes to go. So the field goal kickers are all out there. There's Pappenhausen, there's Munster. And on the other side of the fence, there's Moses and Gufferson. And they've all done the job at some point in their career. Smith. For Hughes to push along for Munster. And that play breaks down on the 30 metre line. That's the fourth. He's worked tirelessly this afternoon. Isaiah Papaliki, what a performance. He's going to go 80 minutes again here, the right edge back row for Parramatta. It all takes two hit ups in the set. And, you know, Hughes will bomb from outside the 40. Nowhere near the sideline. Blake's underneath it. And, oh, he's lost it again. Blake has lost it again. And McDonald's come up with the ball. Now they will be in position for the one-pointer at the end of this set. Asafa Salamona on the first tackle, 20 metres out. Brandon Smith, it looks the way they're setting up to be Pappenhausen taking the shot. And Bromwich pushes along, meaning away from the sideline, and away from Stone. And Stone comes again with Brown to make the tackle. Where's Hughes? Olam. To Munster, they'll set it up in front of the posts. Pappenhausen's Moira ready. Up. Pappenhausen's ready now. If they want to go on play through, he, three, he's ready. Right in front, Jerome Hughes takes the tackle. Now it's the fourth, and yes, Smith knows it. Pappenhausen and Munster in position. Long way back for Pappenhausen. Knocked down by Lane. Parramatta have come up with a ball. Hopper check for the Eels, what a knockdown. Maybe he will get the back Lane. page of the paper. <laughs> Corey wrote him off half an hour ago. Ray Tom Hoppercheck. Well, Lane was there in concert with Hoppercheck, Parramatta. By the end of this set, they'll be inside the 40. They have a shot of their own. This is before we get to Golden Point, if that's where we're headed. Sean Lane just putting pressure on Pappenhausen was like, like the giraffe just coming out of the cage at Taronga Zoo. I don't know where that analogy came from now, Barty. <laughs> That'll get Opacek off the front page, that story. Campbell Gillard is tackled. 
Parramatta on play five. It's a long way out. Moses is set. 42 metres away. Moses' strike is going to blow well right in the posts. Melbourne will have time to make a long range shot of their own if they want. Pappenhausen will come back to the 20 for the restart. McDonald, they had to wait for McDonald to get onside. Couldn't restart, play quickly. Yeah, plays are out of the feet, aren't they, Vossi? It's been just end to end. Not, not just for 40 minutes. Oh, Asipa Solomona and Palo collide. We're looking at Golden Point two weeks in a row for the Melbourne Storm. 24 all, 10 seconds to go. I don't think there's going to be any heroics here, is there? Munster's got other ideas, a skip and a dance. He's been excellent. No one can touch him. And he's basically, he's, he's played down the clock with that luck. We will be off to Golden Point again. It is, well, it was 12 all at half time. Now it's 24 all at the end of 80. And Golden Point is headed your way on Fox League. Well, just look at the stats and the numbers. Melbourne in Golden Point in all time now have won 9 of 16. And Parramatta, their record in Golden Point uh, across the years is only five wins from 16. It has just been a cracking game this afternoon. Moses, listen to this. No, we had the cameras there from Fox League right in the huddle of Mitch Moses. Barking his instructions. He knows what he wants, the halfback. Munster, so too, from the inside. It's going to come down to a moment. And as you said, Bossy, there are players in both these sides that just love it. This was the charge down from Lane. Look at the size of him. Look at Lane here. He, he just comes through and at the last minute just throws his arms up. And Opacek came down with it. It was a huge play from the back row. He, he has been everywhere this afternoon, Lane. Well, here's the field goal for okay, Moses. So has kicked kick eight in his way. career. Just, um, Gutherson's one and only period. field goal of First his career was Golden yeah, Point yeah, against yeah, the Raiders yeah, back in 2020. And then for Melbourne, you've got Pappenhausen, who kicked his fourth field goal only last week in beating the Rabbitohs. And Cameron Munster has kicked three in his career. And the way they set up, they had Munster and Pappenhausen in position, a plan A and a plan B. I feel they they will go straight to Pappenhausen and Parramatta. Often, Vossi, I would like to, to kick off in Golden Point and try and get as far as you can down the other end of the field and jam them in there and try and then you get your, your set sort of around that 20 or 30 metre line with your fullback. But this time, just both these sides with the sheer power that they possess through their their middle forwards and the strong athletic outside backs that they have, I think the receive will be the advantage. A chance to get the outfield and get a shot at, at field goal. Well, Melbourne are going to get that chance. What a super Saturday on Fox Lee. Can you believe it? Go some overtime in the second match and then sit back and enjoy the Raiders yeah, and guys, the Titans. They are delaying kickoff to that one in Canberra. You won't miss anything right here on Fox League. You never do when it comes to Rugby League. Here they go, end of the next period. Let's play. I, I reckon they can play till midnight. Offload from the kicker. That's outrageous. And Munster is in possession just outside the 20 on play number one. Asifa Solomona will take the next carry. Will the side flinch here? Will there be an error? Now with Jesse Bromwich. Yeah, going to their experience, man. Pappenhausen, Jesse Bromwich, Asper Solomona. This is Hughes on the Kafusi. Yeah, they know how to get down field. Play number four. Now for Smith. You don't necessarily want to pull the trigger on the long range one miss and give up a, a seven tackle set. So I don't think they're thinking the, the long range one here. Hughes will bomb from 45 metres out. It's going to go to Blake, he's dropped his last two, he's dropped three in a row, but it's gone back to Gutherson, and Gutho is off. And Hughes makes the tackle. Advantage now, Parramatta. On the second play, Opacic, Offload, Murray, Moses. Step and weave and swerve, five short of halfway. That's play two, they're almost at the halfway line, Parramatta, on the back of a great run from their inspirational captain. 
Clint Gutherson, Campbell Gillard now up over halfway. Campbell Gillard for Muddy. This is Nathan Brown. Nice Nathan. footwork. Brown gets him past the first line and makes 10. A valuable 10 at that. They will keep it either side of the uprights here. Bolo, a great run again. Parramatta playing out of the textbook here. Brown's got himself in an interference role. Moses with his first shot. Touch. Moses' kick Touch. has hit the upright. Oh, stone. stone, my goodness! Stop press oh, on the Southern Highlands views. Ray Stone may have scored the match winner in a double. Uh, well, a there's a six. bit to go here. I have no try. OK. We're confirming <laughs> that Ray Stone is offside. Ray in front Stone may be offside. Parramatta run a very dangerous play. Defend attackers getting into no man's land to block chasers. Well, it's Parramatta touched right side there. kick chasers on side, including Ray Stone. Ray Stone it's being on declared side. onside. And it's touched by the Melbourne Storm. It hits the right upright and comes oh. back into the hands. Ray Stone is onside. The Moss Bay's is onside. He's come off his right foot. He's beaten Jerome Hughes. The only Parramatta player in sight. He's done his knee yeah, as he's done his knee. We have a decision. Well, this is incredible. He's done his knee in the act of scoring Ray Stone. And somehow Parramatta are going to win. This is a most dramatic moment. Parramatta are winning the match in Golden Point with Ray Stone scoring the first double of his career, mind you. He suffered I can't an believe injury it. in the I process. Can't believe it, Parramatta. Well, has he ever had a headline, Ray Stone? Well, he has now. He's got two tries in his career. Don't worry about the back page. He'll be front page for a week in Mossvale. He's, double, he's doubled his career tally. <laughs> this is shades of 97 grand final, Matty. Johns took a field goal shot that hit the post, and Bill Peden charges through. Look at Jerome Hughes here. He accelerates, and it just sits up. <laughs> Look at Moses. Watch this. Watch this reaction. Rubber. It's Ray Stone. What a moment. Such a competitor. Oh, what, what, a, what a great accolade he is to the Parramatta side. Well, I say Can with... you believe it? Look at the Parramatta reaction. Look at the players. I say with respect, if you had a punt and had Ray Stone as your last try scorer, you made a mistake. <laughs> you made a mistake. <laughs> and thankfully, he's OK. He's back up. I, I, it, that just the most remarkable finish. Parramatta have beaten Melbourne in golden point. Penrith and Brisbane, the only unbeaten sides. It's Parramatta 28, beating Melbourne 24.